really important uh, publication in this uh, all very special transitional period. Um, I think for GR professionals, we carry a mission of telling a good China story to our headquarters and also vice versa, right? So I think this book will serve the purpose um, of bridging the gaps of uh, understanding of, about China um, and help um, um, making contributions to the better, better, to the improvement of bilateral relations. Um, so for um, IBM, um, just a quick uh, introduction, because we have um, been undergoing several times of transformation. Now what we, we have two major business lines. One is uh, IBM Consulting. Uh, in this regard, we are peers with KPMG, right? And we also provide technology in the hybrid cloud and AI space. So um, without further uh, repeating what the um, um, speaker said about the opportunities in China, uh, I just wanna say that um, um, as MNCs, um, we all, we, because uh, we are optimistic about the uh, um, China's future, we should think and act like a partner think about you know, how we can contribute to China's national goals or the major national strategies. There are three um, aspects I'm thinking that uh, we can consider to, um, uh, to help China achieve their go its goals. One is um, uh, technology leadership. For MNCs who operate in China for years, we all have our um, technology, um, you know, leading technology in certain industry. That's how we establish ourselves here. So as Mr. Xi, uh, President Xi Jinping said, we want to make China a market for the world um, shared by all, right? So no usually MNCs provide the, uh, t the world-class innovative products to China. So definitely given the size and the potential of the market, there, is, there are huge opportunities for that. Um, and also, um, I think the key here is whether and how we can remain that um, uh, technology advantage given the faster rising of the local industry. Um, in another um, aspect, China is determined to uh, building an innovative driven economy. So this cannot be achieved by shutting the door, you know, just doing everything by yourself. It's totally economically impossible. So with this, it has to compete with a strong play, with strong players. You know, if you want to become a tiger, you have to work with a tiger, learn from a tiger, then you become a tiger, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot just uh, compete with inferior competitors. So in that regard, I think there's a lot for MNCs um, to do uh, to help China um, in this regard, such as uh, fostering, uh, uh, yeah, fostering talents, uh, incubate, incubate uh, the uh, startups. Um, there are lots of opportunities. If we, we look at the uh, 14, five-year plan, especially at the regional level. Another opportunity uh, lies in, um, for many Chinese companies, they do have the ambitions to go global. They wanna be competitively, uh, they wanna be globally competitive, right? But it's very difficult. They need foreign companies, um, to help them, for example, build a uh, globally operable platforms. They also need MNCs to, to provide endorsement if they want to penetrate into global markets. They need our expertise to navigate through the uh, um, regulatory complexities in uh, different markets. So these are all the areas we can uh, work with China in a more uh, mutually beneficial way. I also want to talk about um, uh, uh, thought, 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 uh, thought leadership, sorry. So because we are also in the consulting business, um, for uh, over the past uh, few decades, we have helped so many Chinese companies from high-tech companies like Huawei to traditional companies like Hua, uh, China Resources, uh, Wuliang Ye, with their digital transformation. So uh, given the uh, accumulated experiences uh, expertise in managing global presences, uh, in supply chain management, in um, um, leadership training, 
you know, there's a, a lot for um, MNCs to work with China in achieving, um, in developing its digital economy, in achieving its uh, carbon neutrality goals. Uh, the last aspect I want to talk about is talent. So over the years, MNCs have contributed contributed huge talent pools to China. We can, I think everyone could see the trend like in the past few years, um, lots of talent flow from MNCs to local Chinese companies. Um, so when we have meetings with customers uh, like the Chinese companies, oh, used to be our colleague, right? They are sitting on the other side of the table. So that's a good thing, right? Um, the easier flow of talents. Um, that's how we contribute to China's uh, um, overall development and innovation as well. So especially in the digital economy era, uh, there's a huge gap in China's digital talents. Um, so what we can do is to figure out these gaps and figure out ways to work with China to fill such gaps. Um, that's uh, all I have to share. Uh, and thank uh, uh, CCG again for this excellent opportunity. And uh, hope, hopefully we can work with you more uh, in the future.